Hello everyone and welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. I hope you've all had a lovely long weekend. We went camping and um, not very far away, just Hubby and I, and had a really nice quiet weekend. But uh, you'll have to excuse all the little scratches and dings that I have on my skin today, just from camping. When we got home, I decided to make a card for my nephew's birthday. And I made this Z Fold fun flap card. This makes a little closure flap, just like this. And uh, I used the Myths and Magic set just for the DSP. And the uh, little grey fleur de lis is just the back of this page that has the dragons and the knights on. And uh, I thought it would be nice just for a little boy's card. But while I was making it, I was thinking how nice it would be to make one for an, uh, an adult. So here was my first card. And the card I'm going to make with you is exactly the same style, just a different picture. So to start with, you need a piece of card for your back. of, um, And it needs to be four and a quarter by 11. And I've scored it at five and a half, and then I turned it over and scored at two and three quarters. And then I've folded it, just still need to burnish it. I think I need a new blade on my trimmer, starting to leave little edges. Okay, so your card will look like this. Just a little back to front Z fold. Okay, the next thing you need is a piece of DSP and I'm using DSP from the Truly Tailored collection. I know it's going to retire soon but I, I really like this DSP. I think it's been a, a really nice one for masculine cards and uh, it's got lots of different pictures on and just nice paisley prints and things. I'm contemplating getting some more before it retires because I have been using it. And sometimes I buy DSP and then I keep keep the whole bag of it and it's retired and I've still got a full bag, but not with this one. Okay, so there's our DSP on the back. And we also need two pieces of DSP, one for here and one for here. And they're cut at two and a half across and four inches long. So we just put those on. You can use any DSP you want to. If you want to do um, like a second layer and have card behind, just increase the size by one eighth on each side. So it just gives you that little tiny border. But for mine today, um, for the children's card, I did double back, but on this one, I don't think I need to. Okay. And then I actually cut another piece of DSP because I used the thin Whisper White and it's not as, as heavy a card as I'd like. So I cut another piece of four by five and a quarter for the back, just to make it a little bit less flimsy. You really don't have to do this. You use either the thicker coloured card or the um, thick Whisper White. That would be perfect. Okay, so there we are. We've got our DSP all on. The next thing we need is a piece of card. And I picked out the green out of this little pattern. You could make it white, you could make it blue, whatever colour you wanted. And this piece of card is seven and a half inches long by three and three quarters. And I've scored it at three and three quarters and folded it. And it's actually going to go like this. So the very back of it, this side, will be glued down. And there will be a picture on here. And when you open it, I'm going to have a sentiment on this side and a picture on here. So, but before I glue it down, I'm going to make my pictures. Now, I'm using the waterfront set. You know how much I love this set. 
and uh, I'm just going to make two little pictures very similar and for that I need white card at three and a half by three and a half okay, so I'm just going to do a very very quick little printing so I'm using my crumb cake I'm going to put the mountain on just check it first you know I always like to check that things are stamping properly so I'm going to put let's move that up a little bit for you I'm going to put my mountain just just above the middle and the same on the other card as well and then I've just got my Simply Chamois cloth um, I used one at on stage and this is the new cloth that Stampin' Up! have brought out and you just keep it a little bit damp and keep it in a Ziploc bag um, and you can just clean your stamps really quickly on it now I had been using baby wipes and I don't like all the little pieces of lint left over the thing I don't like about the chamois is that it stays dirty and I have tried to clean it and run the ink out but it doesn't it doesn't come out at all but neither does it transfer ink onto anything so I think I'm just going to have to uh, bite the bullet and get over having a dirty cloth okay so here we are there's our little mountains next I'm going to do a little piece of grass this is pear pizzazz and I'm going to go across and then just another one a little bit higher up and the same on the other I might just turn it round on the other one so there's one and two if you want it to be a little bit wider it's not a problem just put another layer in whatever you like just clean that on my little cloth it does squeak a little bit as well that cloth so uh, so I'm not 100% sure that I, I love it staying dirty but I do love the um, the actual cloth itself now you can see I've just got a little mark on there I don't know how I picked that up but we'll pop some trees over that I've got tranquil tat for my little fir trees let's put some over here And I'm going to put these ones here so that they just cover that little brown mark that I think I maybe got off the corner of the stamp. There we are. Nobody knows it's there. And I'm going to put another little tree, but just one of the trees, over this side. There we go. Uh, let's find my cloth. Now we were told on stage to let these dry out sometimes so that they didn't start to have an odour or anything. Okay, then we'll put a little sunshine on. So I'm using my crushed curry and the little circle sun that's in the set. Put one up there. This one over the other side. Clean that stamp. It does make a remarkable job of cleaning them though. And then I'm just going to put some water on and I'm going to use the Marina Mist, which is the one of the blues that's retiring in a couple of weeks' time. So just want to use it a little bit. Okay, that looks good on here hold it down for a couple of seconds just to transfer the ink there we go there we are clean my, clean my stamp okay so that's the stamping just about finished the only other stamping we need 
is a little piece for the inside and I used the Happy Birthday from this window shopping set. I really like this for mac masculine birthdays. And what I did was on one of the three and a half by three and a half pieces, I just stamped the Happy Birthday, a little bit of grass and three trees, just to carry the theme through. Okay, so we'll go back to the little fold for the middle of the card. And we need one of the cards to be adhered to this side. I'll just use my fast fuse. You can use any adhesive that works for you. Okay. And then we're going to open it as though this back piece was already glued onto the card. We're going to open it and I'm going to put one of the pictures on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. And so that when the recipient opens the card, it will open like a little book. And there will be some pictures and the sentiment. And I think this is one of those cards that providing you change the DSP and the card colour, it would work for anything, any occasion. Okay, let's take our base back. So now I'm going to adhere this side down. So glue on the back. Let me see, and I like it to be lined up just so that it has a little even piece of DSP top and bottom. There we go. You can see it's starting to take shape. It's going to be like this. Okay. So the next thing we need is the little flap that's going to hold this down. And you remember on my first card, I put a little flap with a circle and I'm going to do the same this time. And I adhered it down with some of our foam strips and I'm going to do just the same because that gives a little bit of height to the fastener so that when you put this piece under, it, uh, it just stays there. So I have a little piece of the Tranquil Tide card and a little piece extra of the DSP. And the DSP, I've cut it at one and a quarter inch because I had this little piece already in my scraps box at one and a half inch and I thought that would just be ideal. Now, I didn't know how long to cut them. I wasn't quite sure how much of the picture I wanted to take up, but I think I'm going to cut it about here. But I'm actually going to glue it on. Just I'm only leaving a, a little border top and bottom on this. And then let me see. So I'm going to line it up with the edge of the card. And uh, let's think. I think I'm going to cut it off about here. And you can just cut it off by hand. Doesn't matter if it's not perfectly straight. We are going to put something over the top of there. Now. With one of my other scraps, what I did was I just stamped the trees twice so that I had enough just to cut out with one of my punches. And I still have a lot of the hand punches, but you can use your layering circles or even your stitched framelit shapes for this. I'm going to use the one and a half inch punch. See how much of the tree I can get in. Oh, that looks bad. Uh, yeah, that looks quite nice there. So I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to use the one and three quarter inch punch to punch a piece of the Tranquil Tide out just so that it matches the backing that I've got for the um, pictures and for the little piece of DSP here. So I'm going to glue the trees onto the circle. And then I'm going to glue it just onto the end of this DSP. 
And I would like to say a big thank you to everybody who's been sharing my videos and people who have joined up um, to receive notification of my videos on YouTube. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. So I'm really enjoying making and sharing. And if you want to copy any of my cards, please don't think that you have to ask me. Um, I'm putting my cards out there for everybody to share. So if there's something you like, don't worry about asking. Please just case and make your own. Okay, now to keep this little piece of the flap up, I'm going to put it on dimensionals. I don't have any of the long foam strips left. So I'm going to use my dimensional sheet. I do have them on order, but they just haven't come in yet. And there we are. I'm only putting the two on. Take the backings off. And then line this up with where I want it to go. And I think just there. I liked the fact I like the fact that the trees look like they're still part of the scene. So when they open the little flap and open the card, there you are. You're greeted by another picture and a little happy birthday. And you can close the flap up. It will fit in a normal size envelope, so nothing special needed. I am going to put this little spare piece of DSP on the back. Nope, it's not DSP, it's just Whisper White cardstock. <laughs> and if you want, you could um, ink something on there, or another sentiment, or part of the picture, whatever works for you. So there we go. A Z fold fun flap card and a nice masculine card. It would work nicely for Father's Day, I think. So, thank you for watching me again, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye bye.